everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to transform this tiny corner of my bedroom into a home office workstation. A lot of us are working from home right now and maybe finding it a little difficult to be productive or even just find a place to claim as your own little workstation. Find a tiny corner in your home and you guys can take on all these ideas I'm sharing with you in this video. I'm using things that I found around the house to create this little workstation and it's gonna be super easy and simple. I'm not gonna be making any design decisions in here that are gonna be permanent because we don't know how long all this is gonna go on for. I just wanna create a little corner sanctuary that I can call my own and get my work done. So if you guys enjoy watching today's video, definitely give it a big thumbs up before we get started and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing to consider when setting up an at-home workstation is location. Where in the house are you gonna set up your little corner? I decided on choosing this little corner in my bedroom because it's bright, it has outlets nearby, and I really like that I can just shut the door and close everything away. There's no distractions in here, no TV, and no people wandering around the house. So I found this to be the perfect little spot. I recommend finding a place by a window, by a wall, or even turning a little closet into a workstation. Station. So if you can find something like that around your home, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and start our setup. So the first thing I recommend doing to really make this corner feel like its own designated space is roll out a little floor mat or rug. I had this rug laying around already, so I just used it, moved it in this corner, and this corner feels like its own designated space already. So it's definitely not necessary, but it really helps bring a whole little setup together. So on top of the rug, we're gonna set up a fold out table. I think I got this a few years back from Walmart, and this is perfect because it's height adjustable, it's very affordable and it's tiny enough to fit in this little corner. Definitely don't feel like you need a full out desk to get your work done at home. This fold out table is absolutely perfect and really everything you need. You just need a surface to put a laptop on to get some work done. I also love that this is collapsible. It can move around the house and you can take it down whenever you want, especially because we don't know how long this stay at home order is gonna be happening. I don't wanna do anything permanent in here. I just wanna make it so that this this works for now. I also love that it gets hidden behind the dresser when you walk in, so it's not a huge eyesore right when you walk through the door. There is something about this gray table that just looks a little temporary to me. So to customize it a bit, I'm gonna be wrapping the top of it in marble contact paper. I ordered this off Amazon a while ago when I was doing my bathroom makeover, so I had some extra lying around. It's very affordable and it really helps customize pieces. So I had this whole extra roll that I'm gonna use to cover the top. It's really gonna make it look a lot brighter and make it look a little bit fancier than just a plastic table. If you don't have peel and stick products around your home ready to use. You can easily just cover the surface of your table in a tablecloth of your choice or a really nice placemat. As you can see, my marble contact paper roll wasn't as wide as the table, so I'm gonna have to use another piece to put along the top edge. I'm just smoothing down the sides, which I found a little difficult because the table was a little round, so it's a little hard to do the edges, but I can look past it. All I really cared about was seeing the top covered in marble, so once I put the second piece down, it really looked amazing. So it's as easy as that to really transform a simple little piece like this. It really makes it feel like a whole new piece and it makes me excited to sit down here and work at it. If you like your environment, you will get more work done. Another item you need for your workstation is additional lighting. So I'm using this small little table lamp. It's perfect for a little desk like this. It doesn't overwhelm the space, but it just provides additional lighting if it gets dark or you really want to set kind of a calm mood, this is definitely something you need on your workstation. So if your little workstation isn't set up in front of a window or something really pretty to look at, you need to have something on the wall to really frame out the space. I'm going to be framing a to-do list so that I can use it as art, but also a practical reminder to get things done. This is gonna help keep me motivated and really keep me on track. I'm just gonna be leaning it up against the wall so I don't have to nail anything in or again, make any permanent decisions. I just used a piece of paper, a marker, and an extra frame that I had from Ikea 
IKEA. This is also great because it kind of acts as a whiteboard and you can use a dry erase marker to really mark down what you have left to do. It's wipeable and cleanable, so it's a really functional and decorative way of keeping track of what you have left to do. It frames out your workstation and really just keeps you motivated to get things done. Now to bring in some texture and decor, I'm bringing in this wooden riser. I love using these to really make things look substantial. I'm putting in my pencils, my USBs, my markers into this little canister set. If you don't have something designated for pens and pencils, you can definitely use a container, a cup, a mug, or a jar, anything that really keeps things together. I love the way this looks and it really adds functionality to the surface. I also like using risers because you can put things underneath them and it really creates kind of like a shelf or mini storage setup. So I'm just sliding my notepad under there to hide away. To add some life and color into this white desk, I'm adding in this little succulent that I had. This is a faux succulent, but if you love some real fresh flowers or a real plant on your desk, that will definitely brighten up your space. Beneath the table, I'm adding in this little trash basket to add some functionality, but also some decor to this space. It really makes it feel like a designated workplace when you have everything that you need there. I really like the woven texture of this and it really just adds something to this little station. On top of the desk, I'm bringing in my little iPhone holder. This is something I got from Ikea and it's perfect for holding up my iPhone for all of the Zoom meetings, FaceTime calls, video chats that are happening these days. So this is definitely something necessary that you need while working from home these days. I love hanging decor from the ceiling and I think this is the perfect chance to do it. I'm hanging my little macrame plant holder and I feel like it really makes this corner feel intimate and feel like its own designated space. Now, of course, every workstation needs some seating. I'm bringing in my little thrifted chair that I got a while back and I think this is perfect for this workstation. I'm gonna be adding in a little pillow to make it a little bit more comfortable, but you can use any chair you want. If you have an extra dining room chair, an extra stool sitting around, definitely make sure you designate one chair in the house for your workstation. Another thing I'm gonna do to add some more functionality is plug in a power cord to a nearby outlet. That's so that I can plug in my laptop, my chargers, anything that I need and have it all in one place. So that is everything that I'm including in my little workstation built in the corner of my bedroom. I think you can use things found around your home to really achieve the same look. It's very simple and really at the end of the day, all you need is just a designated space to call your own and get your work done with no distractions. This little corner of my bedroom is exactly that. I made it a place that feels enjoyable, it's comfortable, and it has everything that I need. Try to integrate your workstation into the decor look that's already existing in the room. I like that mine is tucked behind this dresser so you don't notice it right when you walk in. It really feels put away, but it also matches the same aesthetic of the space. So when you're picking a location for your workstation, consider the decor that you're gonna be using and make it work with the space. Obviously, everyone needs something different in their workspace, but I definitely encourage you to look around your home at any extra pieces that you may have that maybe you're even gonna get rid of at some point and turn it into an at-home workstation. It's as simple as a surface, a chair, some lighting, and an outlet. You can create a really enjoyable space. Add some extra decor in to bring you some joy, and I definitely think you can come up with a perfect little at-home workstation. All right, so that is everything I wanted to include in my little home office workstation and this is exactly what I needed to work on my laptop, edit videos, this is gonna be perfect. So I love that it's not an eyesore in here. It matches the entire room. It really feels like its own little designated space with its own lighting, its own rug, a little hanging plant. This just proves that you really don't need to go out and buy a new desk or feel like you need to have walls to really create a home office. Making a little corner like this is really all you need to work on a laptop. So I hope this video gave you guys some ideas and inspired you to create your own little home office corner wherever you can. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and if you haven't already make sure that you're subscribed to my channel click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you never miss an upcoming video love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one bye